And if you love motorcycles but live for innovation, you're in the right place. Welcome to Garage Talk with Dale. Watch as he crafts a one-of-a-kind camless hydraulic engine and breathes new life into a classic BSA Gold Star motorcycle. Stay tuned for tales from Dale's racing history, pro tips, and hands-on mechanics. Hit subscribe and join him on his journey. This is Garage Talk with Dale. Well Good morning. Welcome to the garage. Um, I just thought I'd show you a bit more of the stage of the uh, new bike. It's coming on, back wheel's finished. Um, exhaust done, but I've still got to make a, a bracket for head stock to hold the cylinder head. Um, and we're going there slowly, so I thought I'd just show you a little bit how we're going on. i introduce you to our Mason. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's come down to pattern up and do the fairing today. So uh, he's going to use his skills and wherever he finishes up with today is basically what we're going to be running. So it'll be interesting to see what he does come up with. Um, that's his tank as he's done so far. Uh, he's got a lot more work to do to it. I have shown you that tank before. Um, but anyway, he's going to he's going to carry on today and do some more work. And that's the good bit. Uh, the bad bit was we were at Mallory Park at the weekend and we had a bit of a whoopsie with 500. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of damage. But we're going to go down into the bottom, bottom garage. This is my uh, road bike 350. That's uh, a very nice thing. But anyway, there we are. We're down into bottom garage. And this is his 500 race bike. Unfortunately, Tyler uh, decided that he didn't like the forks. So he's, he's altered the forks. Um, and I didn't like them being altered. So we're going to put them back with some different forks. <laughs> he got off at Gerard's very very fast and unfortunately uh, the bike got damaged but uh, Tyler were absolutely perfect he got up and walked away from it and that is some feet at like 90 100 mile an hour um a little bit of damage to the seat which is to be fair very little um fairing didn't have a lot of problems uh, screen broke that's all it's modified uh, exhaust slightly but anyway there we go I thought I'd just show you that today a bit of muck off it to, on the front wheel so we've just got to mess about now now if you look at this bike we've been running this for a long time um, and that's where we are with engine we run his own barrel cylinder heads have lost a couple of fins but we don't worry about that too much um, the bike has been a really good tool over years, but uh, unfortunately everything comes to an end. And uh, we'll get it back together for the next meeting. Um, and there we are. Anyway, Tyler did have some good news. He did fall off. Um, he didn't hurt himself and he still won the 500 race. Somebody else red flagged the race before it was finished. And uh, they went back a lap and he still qualified for the win. So we finished up with eight wins this weekend. Unfortunately, it's six at wins were on 350 um, and two were on this. Um, so he's won basically four 500s and four 350s. So well done to him this weekend. Um, so anyway, we'll show you a bit more as we go on. Um, and thank you for watching. <laughs> 